no, no, no. I imagine like living next to this pile. The nice thing would be he never comes outside to work on it. You just have to look at it. You never have to hear it. <laughs> It's just an eyesore. So say a great place to smoke. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, you know, know just, exactly what's that. That's what that guy does. Nothing on TV. Let's go drink in the Integra. <laughs> and piss on it. <laughs> Welcome back to Collector Car Feed. Today we're looking at the former lightweight stolen car champion of North America, the third gen Acura Integra. The Honda community has not been kind to these over the years, but maybe we can find a good one. And you can too at CollectorCarFeed.com with our Facebook marketplace search tool, which we use to find all of today's listings. Here we go. Here is a 1996 Acura Integra GSR sedan. 5,500 bucks. Trenton, New Jersey. 115,000 miles. Clean title. Bodywork done last summer. New brakes and rotors. New Toyo tires. Skunk 2 manifold. Skunk 2 throttle body. <laughs> Look at that last slight con there. Slight con. Car doesn't go over 3,500 RPMs. <laughs> Goes into gear no issue. Engine light due to a small sensor. I'm glad clamped. it's not a big sensor. Yeah. That would have been a deal breaker. Glad it's in good condition. It's it's only 5,500 bucks. And the engine's f***ed. Primered. The seller got it spot on with that license plate. I will just say, the Tegi with the two round headlights like that, this is the best looking design Acura, Honda, whoever did. I agree, sure. and I think that we will see some JDM front ends on here, and I gotta say, I think the round headlight version looks better. Yes. Than I, than I, honestly, I, I yeah. would take either one. I think it looks sick, the Type R front end, um, but I don't mind that one at all. The Type R front end? I'd probably rather have the Type R front, what are you, but I don't mind. We got the Type the R in America, and it looked exactly like this. <sighs> God damn it, dude. That the fucking it's the, called the, the type, type R X front end. end? Type R. Are you talking about the just the JDM, JDM the, front end? It's the JDM type R front JDM end. JDM front okay. end. Here is okay, this is the JDM front end, aka yeah, the type no, R front end. Type R. End. Is it JDM only on the type, type R? R? Yeah. No, dude. They so, wait, all so look you're telling like me that this. I was gonna say, so JDM is not this? I don't know why he's saying type R front end, but it's that's a, definitely that's the type not right. R front. It might be on the type R, but they all looked like this for certain years. Oh, uh, Swear to God. They also, actually, they all got the four headlight one, too. J Japan had the four headlight front end for certain years also. Yeah, well, I was going to say, I thought the, the four headlight one was just a different generation. I, I don't know nothing about these, obviously. Okay, so um, the four headlight one is what we got in the U.S. explicitly. For a couple years in Japan, they got the four headlight one also. I'm not sure if, I think they got that first, and then they switched to this single piece headlight design. I've always known it as that that's the Type R front end. Yeah, but you call it the Type X kit, too, don't you? And they're all yeah, I guess that's true. So this front end we didn't get here, the one we're looking at. Yeah. Which is fine because I like the other one better. <laughs> yeah. But here's one with the JDM front end. Cons windshield crack needs tune. Throttle sticking issue. Brand new S2K throttle. throttle. Body to come <laughs> with and fix. No hood. Brand new type R hood to come with. Kills me to do this, but I'm moving to Florida. Been in storage all winter. Can't take Integras to Florida. Cash Honda trades or drift cars only. Caged GSR shell 140K. H22A swap with around 60K. T2W4 Euro R LSD trans. Yanaka 500 horsepower axles. And you know, it's a Honda. It goes on for six years and has road to slip streams. And there you go. It's an H22A swap JDM front end Integra for $7,000. He has to sell it. He's moving to Florida. I don't uh, hate this. Like look that. at the cage. He choose. <laughs> yeah, the cage is terrible. If it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. have a hood. It needs a tune, and it has an H twenty two. You're buying a project. That cage looks bizarre. Like there's so much room on these. It doesn't make any bars. sense. Yeah. But the bars mm. don't even look even. Like whoever put that cage together. It's like they just threw a jungle gym inside the car. Why do you cage? A taggy. Dude, this thing's ripping. It's got the 500 horsepower axles, dude. Yeah, dude. It's, it's got a gonna it's, flip. It's got turbo cage. Cage it, it cages that way you can look tough. Yeah. And like, let's be real. That's why every person that drives a street car cages it so they can LARP that they have a, a, a race car. I think yeah, this guy might have been onto so. something, honestly, but he didn't get there. And also, I'm noticing a lot of these have the um, the drift pins, the uh, the drift quick release front bumper. Classic. Yeah. This one's a 95 Integra GSR sedan, 3,500 bucks, four door, uh, 149,000 miles on the body, 160,000 on the B20 Z2 high compression. Has an LS tranny with LSD. Hit me up if interested. More information. Thank you. Wow, that back window is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this sucks major ass. I, I would 
with a four door Integra. Also, it looks like he painted the wheels on the car, like on the tires. (laughs) Like, didn't even do cheaper than tire shine. Just hit everything with spray paint. (laughs) Yeah. And also, if you thought St. Louis, Missouri was bad, you haven't been to St. Louis, Michigan. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. That's a St. Louis, Michigan? Watch out. The BRB. It's the new Detroit. Trying to talk some shit? Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some shit, bitch. The all-new KYS Bottle Opener, plasma cut from steel and finished with rust converter, is available now at CollectorCarFeed.com slash store. Very edgy. 1996 Acura Integra GSR Sport Coupe, 3500 bucks in Mesa, Arizona with 215k. VIN matching, firm on price, might go down a few hundred bucks. Has a lot of aftermarket parts. Has original miles from what I know. If you want to test drive, have cash in hand. It has been my daily for a year and three months now. Hasn't left me stranded once. Pulls hard, come test drive it. Trying to sell ASAP so I can get a newer car. No good. I, I feel like somewhere. anytime you write pulls hard in the description, I can just assume all you did was beat on this thing. Yeah. We should filter listings that have pulls hard in the description because that's never going <laughs> to be a good thing. No. Also, the paint is roached on this. Well, the yeah, car pulls fucked. too hard, then it's just it's pulling right out of the paint. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the clear right coach right just off. look and the the license plates peeling up because this thing's so fast. Hate motherfuckers do that to their license plate. It is super cringe. But yeah, it's supposed to look like a, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to look like a like a piece of paper flapping in the wind. It's JDM, you wouldn't understand. That's it. well, it, it's it's like it's supposed to be like those stupid fucking Kaido racer bosses of cars so low that the license plate's scraping and idiots see that and they're like, Oh, it's cool to do that. So they, they try to emulate it. Yeah. But they end up looking like fucking idiots. Shit's whack, but it pulls hard. So if you got thirty five hundred <laughs> bucks and want to rip, go talk to this guy. Sona went in YouTube says, Why do these cars have to look like shit? Are these owned by real car guys? And that's the thing, like They'll tell you all day, like, oh, yeah, this is what re- you have to do. Stupid shit to your car to be a real car guy. And it's like, uh, do I have to drive a piece of shit? Does my car have to fucking suck? And the question is, what do Honda guys say yes to every day? Do I have, do I have to mod it? You know, like, yeah. you can f- with your car and not look like a fucking idiot. And it's not hard. Yeah, and I think this is an example of that. It is a 1998 Acura Integra GSR Sport Coupe for 12 grand, two days ago in El Paso, Texas. It's a 98 Integra GSR with an ITR swap. Car has AC, power steering, and heater. Type R front and rear seats, full suspension with five lug swap, new wheels and tires, title in my name. I do not need to sell and will ignore any offers. If car does not sell, that is perfectly fine. Found another car I'm interested in. Only reason I'm entertaining the idea is selling. If interested and serious, DM me. Don't waste my time. If you don't agree with the price, that is fine. Just keep looking for another car. I will be in town Thursday and Friday if you wanted to see it in person. If car does not sell within a couple weeks, I will remove the post and continue to keep the car. Thanks in advance. If the post is up, yes, it's still available. This guy spent half of his fucking ad being a dick. This guy's a (laughs) chode. I hate people that do that. Spend time in their ad trying to be like like holier than thou. It's like, dude, make the fucking ad and that's it. Who gives a fuck? You know idiots are out there. Yeah. And off top, if you're selling it on Facebook Marketplace, you know you're going to be talking to idiots. If you're confident in the car, put it on bet. Put it on cab. If you're not, put it on Facebook and have people trying to trade you your their fucking civics and a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, I was just it's funny you mentioned that. I was just talking about oh, that to well, somebody the other it. day. Just uh, so. it, you remember like back in the day when like, you know, JDM cars where you could buy like a car for a thousand dollars. God, it blows your mind that like there's these, these like laptops and other shit that cost a thousand dollars. Like you could buy a car or you could have for the this, cost of a laptop. Right. The cost yeah. of a laptop. Not anymore. He's got a cringe shifter, though. Yeah, he's got this. Yeah, he's got all that shit to say, and then he's got the cringiest shifter on earth. Yep. Yeah. What a tool. Yeah, like I think my Brightling cost as much as my first two forty. <laughs> Overall, looks pretty nice. This is it's a sick looking car. The front it is. Front like is not the right color. Yeah, I will the say wheels that. Wheels are nice. I like those wheels. Yeah, whatever the wheels. I don't know what they are. There though, in that in that one picture looks good. In this picture, it looks fine, but it's completely in shadow. But I mean, here I think you can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah you I can. can see okay. it there. Because so, obviously he swapped the bumper. He calls it an ITR swap, yeah. but I don't know if it's a... I mean, I, I think they're no, both the 18s. No, he's a Type R front and rear seats, suspension, and five lug. He called it a 98 Integra GSR with ITR swap. So I'm wondering, is this a B18 C5, or is it, or is he just talking about the interior? Well, whatever, it's it's $12,000. No, if, if you say ITR swap, 
You better That's mean the engine. Hundred percent. Yeah. And if you don't mean the engine, you're a fucking dick. Well, he's in town, so hit him up. <laughs> Here it's it is. Nice he doesn't car. need to sell it, though. It was a nice car. It looked it looked pretty good. But here's a 2000 Integra GSR for a thousand bucks two days ago in Beaverton, Oregon, with 180 thousand mo- miles. Uh, shell no motor. Somehow has a clean title still. Uh, it's a hard pass. Moving on. Ooh. Nothing to say, dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! What the fuck? <laughs> it's a it's a trash can too. Bear parts. Dirty Mike and the boys took yeah. a visit. Yeah, Dirty Mike and the boys it's, into it's, this it's, thing. It's like Integras honestly have have it worse than two forties. Yeah, because two forties didn't have like the reputation of being easy to steal. They and like, probably are easy to steal ultimately, but they they just these were known for being super easy to break into and and steal. So it fucked them up. And like the owners are are even cheaper than 240 owners, which is wild. It's 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 like almost unfathomable. Yo, hit play. Let's go. Fucking Yo, drives and drives. Sheesh! Not up on my wheel. Wait a minute, to smoke that 18 wheeler. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, 150k. 2001 Integra GSR Sport Coupe, five grand, two days ago, Bronx, New York. I'm selling it for a short time of use, but it's clear. Newly mounted clutch stage two, aluminum radiator. I have the new interior cage and several new accessories, includes Heather, and its factory steering wheel has it in the trunk. Full electric, everything works well for him. Type R body accessories, Momo interior accessories, no check engine light. Right, straightforward. To the point. I mean, I think Fringe for release. five grand. Oh, shit. That oh shifter, though. God. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. He's got God. a fully extendo. World. Fucking cranking that thing. <laughs> but you could save it. You could <laughs> turn could all you? this around. I think it's too late for this car myself. No. But, uh, it's ne- no. That's a Type R. It's not a t- it's, it's a fucking. No, he said it was like a badge. No, dude. It's a Type R. It says it right, right there. <laughs> Sheesh, yeah. dude. For an Integra for five grand. Yo, what was that cage like around the seats? This? That's a, oh, it's a harness bar. bar. Oh, it's a harness bar. Yeah, yeah. it connects oh. to the B pillars. It's a really not great way to to connect harnesses. It's a good way to hurt yourself if you ever get it's, in an it's accident. A complete fucking dumb fuck cringe accessory. Yeah. Even for five grand, like there's other options. Like it just it's not worth your time unless you're like in Bronx, New York, want to lowball them and just really fucking need an Integra right now. <laughs> Check out the Type R projectors in the doors, the oh, the puddle fuck. lights. <laughs> so cringe. It sucks okay, too much, fun. man. Yeah, and it's on paper plates to top it off. Yeah. Oh yeah, project. Have we gone up or down? Is this better or worse? I don't. Know. Maybe it's better. B eighteen C one motor runs it. great, and this might just be the engine. Jesus H. God, that's yeah, right me out of rising that sun. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> it says low life on the intake. Whatever. Of course it does. Well, it's unclear if this includes the body around it or not, but I mean, who fucking cares? Yeah. No, it's got to, it's got to have it's it's everything. He's saying it has a B18C1 motor and it runs great. 190. Otherwise, why would you take a picture of the car? Yeah, I don't it, know. It runs great, but the car is going to fall apart. This guy's got some interesting shit in his yard. Like there's a filing cabinet. <laughs> lots of kids toys. Lots of kids toys. <laughs> lots of kids toys. Taggy on blocks. Yeah, and a taggy on blocks. How oh, the mighty have fallen. And it's a rental, dude. Like, just imagine fucking living here. <laughs> imagine living next to the Integra house. Yeah, I was gonna say, imagine <laughs> being the guy that lives next door to him. Yeah, the guy next door, like, wait, wait, go back to cars. The, At least he never works on, on the other car. side of this car. Yeah, the picture on the other side of this car. One, two, keep going. Three, there's four gas cans under this thing. <laughs> two, 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 I'm assuming empty gallons well, these, of oil. Yeah, this one's antifreeze. This one's oil, right? Or this one might be oil too. Because it's yellow. <laughs> uh, either way, and that's a is that a is that a ashtray, a flywheel? What is that next to the it's yellow? A one? Crank pulley. A crank it's a radiator pulley, pulley yeah. dude. Radiator and, pulley, bro. Yeah, and, and a Ford blue, a Ford blue Walmart barbecue pit, barbecue charcoal <laughs> grill. Yeah. None of this shit is getting used ever. No, no, no. Imagine looking living next to this pile. The nice thing would be he never comes outside to work on it. You just have to look at it. You never have to hear it. <laughs> it's just an eyesore. Yeah. And but, like, he how many... it, but he says it runs great. So you know that dude's starting it up once a month. Revving the shit out of it. How many holes do you need to drill in your fucking front bumper to mount the license plate? <laughs> at least six. <laughs> <laughs> 
Check out this toe oh, strap man. that's like rotting off of this car. <laughs> Like dying, yeah. But like, and look at all the moss growing on, like, on the front, like, right above the splitter. Yeah, yeah. he's in the south. He's in Virginia. Imagine God. the smell. And the windows down all the time too. Yeah, it's so moldy seats, inside. Seats aren't even the same. No mismatched seats. Well, I mean, he had to. He keeps having to replace the driver's side one because it gets rained on. Keeps your seats close the get window. In it. <laughs> so say a great place to smoke. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know exactly I, what's that. That's what that guy does. I'll buy yeah. that one in Bronx for. Oh, I thought, I thought this guy wanted five, too. Nothing on TV. Let's go drink in the Integra. <laughs> <laughs> and piss on it. Yeah. <laughs> drink and smoke in the tagging. Bro, we're like 15 minutes into this video and you still didn't hit like? I mean, if you want to be like that, okay, but I thought you and me, I thought we were cool. Hit like. Do you live in a society, but belong in a society? Do you play bass guitar, but wish you were blasting trumpets? Fear not, rude boy. A benevolent god has created Collector Car Feed, bestowed onto you. At CollectorCarFeed.com, when you search for Facebook Marketplace 350Zs, you get a list of Facebook Marketplace 350Zs. No Altimas, no V6 Mustangs, no Kia Souls. Just exactly the f***ing car you f***ing wanted to see every f***ing time. Thanks to Collector Car Feed, I got my very own 350Z without all the headache of using Facebook Marketplace. I'm blasting trumpets, throwing that sh** sideways, getting doors, and deaf as fuck. The ladies love it too. I'm plowing more beaver than a reckless riverboat captain. Thanks, Collector Car Feed. CollectorCarFeed.com. Lock up your daughters, or they're coming home pregnant. Here's a 96 GSR for $111 four days ago in Statesville, North Carolina, with 111, 111,000 miles. Trade. Show me what you have, and we go from there. Good running car. Looking for an Show automatic. Somebody send this guy to pick and ask him if he can trade. Just show me what you got. If you have a three-star on Facebook Marketplace, brother. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> look at the fart limiter's fucking blown in that seat, too. Oh, brother. Now, if you look at the seats, it looks like the foals in the headrest is like a mouth. And it's just Go fucking on. shocked. At what yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> this thing's been ripping recently, though. I gotta say, it's it's got a COVID mask in here, so this thing has run Ooh, at some yeah. point in the last few years. And Ooh. it has the, the classic every fucking Rice Boys Integra shift knob ever. The little metal one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go. what's this uh, trashed thing in the bottom left? Oh, that's a 1990, that's an SN95 Damn. Mustang there, brother. Oh, Jesus. Damn. That's the Frankenstang. <laughs> no, 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 selling my <laughs> dune buggy that was made from a Ford Mustang V6. The odometer went out on me before I put it away in the winter, so the miles have probably gone up about 100 miles. <laughs> All original, runs absolutely amazing, shifts like butter, and is as reliable as it comes. Fucking... Price is firm, so don't ask. It gets tons of looks and... I'll bet. I'll Death bet. Uh, and compliments every looking... single time I bring it out. If you're not in the witness protection program, this is not the ride for you. If you're in the witness protection program, this is not the <laughs> ride for you. Clean title, all lights, radios, speakers, and everything else works as it should. If this ad is up, it's available. Will not answer. Is this available? No trades. I'm only looking for the cash. I like how you put four speakers on a board in the back. <laughs> yeah, those six by nine. They're, it's ported, dude. This is pounding. <laughs> I like um, this pole that just doesn't connect to anything. No, they where? Where's that going? It just, it's like spot welded. And, and oh, look, no. look at the poles. Look at the little poles that are just there to hold up the wing. <laughs> the wing is goofy as fuck. These, dudes like watched Hoonigan. These guys watched Hoonigan eight years ago and were like, oh, I can build a shark cart. People looking at you doesn't mean it's good. This is gross. I don't like this at all. I mean, I could walk down the street with a with a with a fucking dildo strap on dildo around my head and with a short a sparkly shirt that says I'm a rhino and people will look at me. I guarantee it. But that doesn't mean it's good. I've heard this one before, but I still yeah, agree. I, I a thousand percent agree. I believe but this the is in the Toyota about... FRS episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But the other he's still thing right. about this. The other thing, oh, he's right. But the other thing about this is like these were called death cars for a reason. And especially with as little cage as that has, you will die.
this isn't going to yeah, do it's, it's anything. It's not even connected to the windshield, you know? Like, yeah, the moment you flip, you're, yeah. you're done. Not even flip. The moment you, like, slide sideways. No, because there was something. that there was that guy there was that dude that died. Yeah, and like his license plate was Death Cart. Yeah, yeah, and he crashed and and he died. It was like a it was the cage was orange. I think it was made. I think it was made out of Miata. But like, yeah, the overspray in these pictures is so fresh that like even on these bald tires you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like he might have spray painted it at the shell. <laughs> like this looks <laughs> like it just happened. He tried it once, said, well, that was retarded, and now it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, let me sell to some idiot yeah. that really is in, in, is in desperate need of attention. Uh, Go, Goat <laughs> Horde in YouTube says, my 240's been sitting for months. Thanks for reminding me I can smoke in it. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, <laughs> Goat Horde. Here is a 1995 Acura Integra GSR Sport Coupe, 7500 bucks four days ago, Everett, Washington, with 111,000 miles, selling my GSR 95 Taggy. Bought as a project and have gone through the car to make it a good daily. Has some paint chips and fade. Understatement of the year. Um, <laughs> yeah. Replaced the front carpet. of the hood is rusty. Dude, there's like... Uh, well, we'll it looks like there. silly putty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this whole is fucking car looks like silly over there next to that door? <laughs> Just the shit over here. <laughs> Tell the shit he had to take out to take a picture. <laughs> Replaced carpet and cleaned underneath. Maybe that's the carpet. New power steering system. Sits on stock struts. Rides nice. Aftermarket detachable steering wheel. Helps with theft. Sure it does. Has the rare JDM front end, which alone is worth $4,000. Hood is in rough condition, but that's it. Has a B18B1 swapped in by the previous owner. I went through and replaced the maintenance item with uh, maintenance items with high quality parts. I have no problem keeping the car. 7,500 OBO. Okay, now this angle, it's a fine it looking nice car. There. Yeah. And there's your carpet. And there's your Kenwoods. And there's the carpet installed. Kenwoods inbox. Oh, we got the notes list. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's, yeah. let's check out this build. Windshield check. Power steering check. <laughs> ball joint check. Spark plug fuel filter check. Stock struts. Shifter bearing. <laughs> Man's got a new speakers. dizzy. NRG steering wheel hub check. Skunk 2 shifter. New carpet, DNA exhaust. Woo! New, new speakers, new check. Speakers, new, okay, okay, so he has a new distributor and a new Dizzy. Hell yeah. And then the IAC valve. The paint, it, the understatement of the year. How the thing is, The thing the is, the front is. end, the front end looks like shit, and that's... The front end is brutalized, and yeah. no amount of Bondo is going to fix this. It, it, it looks like, it looks like you, when you try to smooth out aluminum foil. And like I, I get that it's the it, that it's the JDM front end, but it's not adding in this in this case. No, it's severely detracting. Oh, and the quick release. Yeah, on the JDM front bumper. As God, I mean, if you're putting the it on the cringe release steering wheel. That's for security, dude. We got a lot of comments on the quick release video saying yeah, that they get do the that for security. Out of here, dude! It's not. <laughs> it does not work for security. You're a fucking idiot if you think that. You're, yeah, and also, you know what stopped Integra theft? Kia theft. <laughs> like you don't need to worry about it anymore they're stealing kias now they don't give a fuck about your integra or whatever you're putting a quick release on like nobody wants yep. to steal your na miata dude they just want to cut the cat no, no, off of it and be, run away here's here's gonna be the ultimate test all right and listen in the youtube let me know if you own a kia we'll put a quick release on it we'll see if it still gets <laughs> stolen yeah that's not bad that's a good idea. How do we make that? We got to steal an intent. We got to steal a Kia. <laughs> we got to steal a Kia. And then That's we got to get like, sponsored by NRG. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. but then, okay. Okay. But look, so Kia sent all these motherfuckers clubs, right? Yeah. Why didn't Kia send everyone quick releases? Oh, damn. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying, we'll go to San Francisco where crime is, where, you know, car Grand Theft Auto is high. We'll just park it on the street with a quick release and like a Kia. We don't even lock the thing because they don't care. They would fill that car with literal human shit by the end of the day <laughs> so in the youtube chat son win says why jdm swapped the front just to make it look like it was painted by a homeless guy for a sandwich <laughs> and then ryan m says most of the guys that do the jdm front don't have the funds or time to paint or do the bodywork on it after installing and I think that's exactly right because a lot of the, it's 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 soon shit you know it's like oh i really want this so bad I can't afford to do it right, but I'm going to do it halfway just also, so I can have it. They're not budgeting time because they're also driving these cars. Yeah. Like you're doing a front end swap on it and then you have to go drive it somewhere like the next day. You got to go to McDonald's. There's no time to shift. get that car painted. You you have to. Yeah, you have to take it to McDonald's to get to your shift. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not feasible. It's not feasible to have a project car and have it also be your daily. 
yeah. and, and put a fucking cursive daily driven sticker on it. Yeah. Like you, you honestly need a daily driver car that you don't fuck with and, and try to make to yeah. like a, a normal car and work on this car in the garage and do it little by little. And if you want to do it little by little, you do the ex- expensive stuff first. A project car isn't, oh, I'm going to buy spike lug nuts. I'm going to buy a quick release. I'm going to buy a, a, a Broadway mirror and it's going to be so sick. This is my project yeah, car. Three foot long shift. I want to do all this <laughs> shit to it. I want to put a, I want to put a two JZ in it. I want to do this. I want to do this. But first I'm going to buy the spike lug nuts. Cause I can <laughs> afford that. Yeah. Like, no dude, that's not a fucking project. <laughs> then I'm going to join, build. then I'm going to join the Facebook group with the most amount of people. And then I'm going to ask what mods can I do first? Like what are the cheapest mods I can do? Yeah. Fuck the cheapest mods, dude. If, if it's a legit build, you're you're saying okay, let me knock out the engine because that's the most expensive. And if you can't knock out the engine, dude, like you ain't doing shit. You can't afford it, man. Like it's it's a, it's a, it's. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but you have to accept it and just that. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not being able to afford to put an LS or put a two JZ or a one JZ or an RB in it. But to save, like, just make the car nice. Don't fucking do rice shit to it. Make it clean. I would add a caveat. Like, don't do shit that you see on, like, the forums or Facebook or whatever just because everybody else does them. Yeah. Like, that's the killer is you see these dudes, like, doing the same mods that everybody else does. Like, and you know what the killer is? Is like, back in the forum days, you would see, like, oh, like, the first mods you got to do to your fucking whatever. Like, don't do those. Yeah, you don't have to. There's nothing... You don't have to evil M your fucking Mazda Speed 3. You don't have to put hell horns on your WRX. <laughs> no, dude, I have to put the hell is on there. I have to. You don't understand. And, and look, Thump, Thumplepuss in, in YouTube has a great... First mod is proper maintenance. Yes. Oh, yeah. 